Hello, I'm Zach Collier, a chemistry and physics teacher at Wolf County High School in Campton, Kentucky. Today, I'd like to suggest a phenomenon you can use to introduce your students to kinetic theory and states of matter. This activity is very affordable and the materials are readily available at most retail stores. The next generation science standards that most directly relates to this phenomenon are the Physical Science DCI PS1A, Properties of Substances at the Bulk Scale Result from Interactions Between or Within Atoms. The practice for high school is for students to plan and conduct an investigation. This is not an investigation. This is just a phenomenon you can use to introduce your students to this content. Now this is student involved and the materials that you want them to have, obviously for safety purposes, they need goggles and you want to make sure they're wearing proper footwear. The students are going to need a quart jar with ice. You're going to need salt. My recommendation is for rock salt like you would use to melt sidewalks. It's going to be the cheapest route. If you want to use uh, ice cream maker salt, you're going to get a little cleaner material to work with. Uh, you're going to need a cooler and the cooler needs to be pre-chilled on the inside. You want to put some ice packs in it or something to cool down the inside before you do this activity. You can take them out when you begin the activity uh, and place the jars that are pre-filled with the ice in them so the students will have them at hand. You're going to need also uh, some tap water. Now the students rather are going to take the jar, add about three small handfuls of rock salt on top of the ice. Fill the jar, the remaining, uh, fill the remaining space in the jar with tap water. Make sure you cover the ice and the salt. Place the lid securely on top of the jar and have the students shake the jar for at least 30 seconds. Next thing you want to do is to have your students observe what they see happening to the jar. Uh, and again, you want their focus to be on changes to water and transfer of energy. So you want them thinking about those two things when they, look, when they observe the jar. So, uh, make sure to draw their attention, use questioning techniques to draw their attention to what's happening to the water inside versus outside, what's, what they observe about it, uh, what they observe about the temperature of the jar on the outside, uh, what they think is happening. And, uh, let them talk to each other, ask them questions, let them talk to you, and then have them place the jars back inside the cooler. Now, you're going to need some time here for this process to work. So, you place the jars in the cooler and you're going to need to wait, depending on how chilled the inside of your cooler is, you're going to need to wait at least 10 minutes and maybe as long as 25 minutes. During that time, uh, you can plan some other activities for your students to do during that time. Uh, at least part of that time, I would have them journaling about what they have seen. Now conveniently, just like a cooking show, I've already got this ready, and so I've already got uh, one jar that's been in here uh, sitting for several minutes, and so it should be ready to go. This jar, uh, as opposed to just condensation on the jar, maybe rather hard for you to see in the video, but that's not just condensation, that's actually frost that's forming on the outside of the jar. And so, again, this focus, ha focus the students on the changes to water that are happening. Uh, make sure they again pay attention to what's happening inside the jar and outside the jar and also transfer of energy. 